Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Intel back here with another video. Yet another one. For for uh for you guys, the job squad. Uh it's it's raw preview Monday. Uh <clears throat> we've got what? Two two raws? Three raws? Two raws? Is this the one that's in Iowa? This might be the one that's in Iowa, but uh I think it is. I think it's this one, and then we've got the one in LA, and then we've got WrestleMania. <clears throat> uh, you're gonna hear me clear my throat a lot during this uh, during this video, possibly because uh, you know I've got a little cold or allergies. I'm not sure. It's that time of the year where I I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe both. Uh, but anyway, so uh, last week was a, a really good episode of Raw. I thought uh, I thought Paul Heyman once again killed it. I'm at the point now where I have no clue if uh, if Paul Heyman is is working me or if uh, or if it's a shoot I, because they keep cutting his mic off, but they keep turning it back on so in my mind I think it's a work um I don't know though you know I think but I, I think I think Paul Heyman is selling me on the match you know I would love to see Brock Lesnar win and unify the UFC and the in the WWE championship my my only problem is is that this week on Raw I want to see Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns get in the ring together maybe have a have a brawl you know something for the love of God they haven't fucking been in the same uh same room together I guess uh, since, I mean, they've been in the same building, you know, every, the last couple of weeks or whatever, but they haven't been, you know, out in the ring together or in backstage or anything like that since the snowstorm raw, the night after the Royal Rumble. I mean, come on, seriously? What the fuck? Give me some Roman Reigns and some Brock Lesnar. Build a story there for me, you know? I mean, all they got right now is Paul Heyman talking shit and Roman Reigns losing on Raw, right? Or did he win? Oh, he won. He beat Seth Rollins. Yeah, that's right, because Randy Orton, uh, Randy Orton walked out, uh, which means that match will probably be building. I thought that um, I thought they did a good job last week. A lot of people were complaining that Randy Orton beat beat the shit out of Seth Rollins too much, but Seth Rollins beat the shit out of out of Randy Orton that one time, and uh, and now we've got now we've got a good story. Two, these two guys both beat the shit out of each other once. Um, so this week, you know. I, I don't know what we're going to see from Seth Rollins, but obviously I think we will hear something from Seth Rollins. We'll hear something from Randy Orton. I don't think we're going to see them team again, but uh, it will be it should be an interesting Raw uh, from that point of view as well. Uh, of course, last week we got a response from The Undertaker. Exactly what I wanted. I, I'm pretty sure I said it on last week's uh, preview that I wanted The Undertaker to use the fucking lightning, and he did. For the love of God, thank you. I love it when they do that lightning. Uh, I have no clue how they do it, honestly, but it's so awesome when they do do it. Uh, I'm looking for some more mind games from The Undertaker. I remember during WrestleMania 20, he lifted the ring up when Kane was inside of it and was shifting it and stuff. I think that would be cool to see again. Just redo the entire WrestleMania 20 thing, except with Bray Wyatt. And I think Bray Wyatt's doing a great job. He's selling it well. Like, you know, he's kind of like, he's got that look of, like, fear for a second, but then he's, like, totally into it. Like, yeah, bring it on, dead man. I love it. I'm I'm all in on this match, uh, despite the fact that The Undertaker is, like, 55 years old or whatever and that the match might not be as good as it is, but just those two characters coming together when whoever wins or whoever wins uh it doesn't really matter to me i just think it's gonna be um it's gonna be a match of the ages you know it's gonna be the, the passing of the torch if you will uh to bray wyatt as that as that new dark character uh and i think that's great so i'm looking for uh, i'm looking for more undertaker mind games possibly an undertaker appearance uh this week if not next week on raw uh, just something from the Undertaker again this week would be great, just to play, just to keep the mind games going, um, and that, and that's all I want from that. Uh, Triple H and Sting, I would love to see Sting come out, um, this week on Raw, possibly, maybe next week. I don't know. I think we're gonna see. Uh, we might see Sting next week on Raw. Um, I I don't see why we would have to wait for Sting to show up. Uh, until WrestleMania, but uh, I, I want to see Sting these next two weeks. Have him come out, man. Just I don't know. He doesn't have to talk. I know they don't want him to talk, but um, I don't know. Just have him do something. Beat the shit out of the Authority or something. Just anything from Sting. You know. Uh, that's another one of those things where it's like the Undertaker match was the same way. Is they're just like they're not really building anything. You know. And it's kind of hard to when the Undertaker's not there, Sting's not there, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar haven't locked eyes in fucking two months or whatever. Um, but, yeah, just, you know, once again, same thing as, like, the other ones. Just give me something. Give me something from Sting. Have Sting come out. I don't care. Have a crow fly through the building or something. I don't know. Just something. Just something. Anything. 
Not Triple H cutting a promo on Booker T again, please. It was a good promo, but it doesn't further the story at all, you know, really, uh, for me, anyways. Uh, the IC title, I think, is, uh, that match is building well enough. Yeah, the thing that bothers me is that it's like, I, they're, they're basically doing this thing now where they just want to fit everybody onto the show, so now the tag team titles are going to be defended in, like, a fatal four-way, and there's really no story there, but, I mean, just give me some interesting matches. I've been kind of into that since Tyson Kidd and Cesaro won, so just give me more of that. Um... More of the IC title thing. I'm fine with what they're doing with, with those two title pictures right now. I'm fine with it. I'm not ecstatic about it. I'm not super pleased with it. I'm, I'm enjoying it for the most part, I guess. Uh, I'm not, like, super into it, you know. But, you know, when it's on, I I watch it, you know. And I'm like, all right, this is cool. I like this. I can't wait to see the matches. I think I think uh, those two matches will be decent. Uh, the Divas thing, just, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe AJ's going to... F- AJ faced Brie last week or something? Oh, no, she faced Summer Rae, didn't she? I don't know. Just give me, like, AJ versus Nikki or something this week on Raw with, you know, the Brie in, in Nikki's corner and Paige in AJ's corner. Just something like that would be good. Um, Did we cover it all? We didn't cover it all, right? There's Oh, more Axel Mania would be great. More Miz Dow and Miz would be great. Um... More Ryback, I guess, to, you know, just give me some Ryback just beating the shit out of some local guys. That's what I would love to see. That's my crazy prediction for this week's Raw, just Ryback beating the shit out of some local indie fucking nobodies. But, uh, yeah, so that's my preview for Raw, guys. Um, let me know what you guys want to see happen on Raw or what you think will happen on Raw. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, I guess that's <laughs> I guess that's it. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but this has been your boy until I'm out. Bye!